High and by June, did a lot of stuff this month, but didn't have enough time to do the things I wanted to do. Let's talk about it. The first and second Japan music videos are up right now, released them beginning and middle of the month. I started working on a third that I really hoped I would have done by now, but as you might be able to tell, got a bit of a cold. I got sick and I've been in this state for about a week and a half and that kind of kills my production because I hate nothing more really than being sick. It's also a bummer since I've been working really hard on health. I just finished the hammer and chisel program I had talked about and I'm training for the 10K. This is really throwing me off, so that kind of sucks too. So it's kind of disappointing to be like striving for health and then I get sick like in the middle of the summer beginning of the summer. I guess it's going around. What are you going to do? So working on the third Japan music video right now, I really had hoped I'd gotten way further than this by now. I'm still working on my journal even. I thought that I'd have the vlog done last month. Not happening. Need to work on that. The third music video, which is going to be kind of similar to the second one as far as pace and content and that kind of stuff. Um, not robot restaurant, but it's kind of electronics oriented kind of stuff. So that should be out hopefully this month in July. Quarter of the way through that right now. And I still need to do the vlog about Japan. And then I have two or three more music videos I want to do probably two more and we'll see what happens but yeah music video need to get done with all this Japan stuff so I can start working on the video game stuff that you guys want to see I wanted to do a video game review that I'd hope to have out by now so I need to work on that on to vlog things so things I did this month I went to the pinball and gamer festival and that was earlier this month June 10th 11th 12th I think I was there on just June 11th went there with Brandon co-worker co-worker Brandon and my dad and we went and played pinball games we played video games I got to play some like Japanese rhythm games and cool stuff they had set up so here's some pictures of that and some video while I'm talking there you go my highlight of that trip was that I got recognized in my own state it wasn't a convention setting but it wasn't Colorado that someone recognized me. hey I really like your channel so that was really cool person that recognized me actually their name was also Brandon here's a picture of us so yeah he was cool enough to stop by say hi and say that he liked my channel so that was really cool um, never been recognized in my own state so that was like a first for me that was really cool I was like wow you know just I guess it wasn't that random since hey we're at a video game convention it makes sense that I would be recognized in such a place but anyway that was really cool he recommended some pins for me to check out I checked out Atlantis Metropolis and Spectrum and I really liked them all they were all kind of older pins I mean they had some that were like brand new there was some new like Rob Zombie I guess is a you know new pin that he had it was kind of the newest one I think that they had there as far as pins go Atlantis was kind of like a older I mean it looked like it was like from the 70s and you know obviously aquatic themed kind of thing and that was fun Metropolis was like themed like the old Metropolis movie so it's like putting together the robot and stuff and then Spectrum was a weird like psychedelic kind of 70s sort of one where you know it's very colors oriented and it's the only pin that I've seen where the pinball actually shoots out of where you know when you lose in the slot it just shoots out of there and, and uh, in accordance with the colors and stuff is really interesting so thanks for recommending those Brandon I thought those were very cool also this month back-to-back -back day I guess it was the next weekend went to uh, the grammatic concert <laughs> So some of you may or may not know Grammatic, uh, kind of like a chill, like, I don't know, hip hop style beats, electronic music, um, some of it, and kind of more laid back pace. But I really went there because I wanted to see one of the openers, Sweater Beats. I had seen him before at the One Up when they used to have a men venue, they don't anymore. And he played a really good set. He probably played one of the best sets when we went to this show, but I thought he did a lot better at uh, One Up as far as, you know, in my personal opinion. And some of the openers actually ended up being cooler than Grammatic in my opinion. Because it started to feel a bit generic after a while, because I don't know, maybe I was just, I don't know. It was kind of weird, like it was me and Brandon, my friend AJ, uh, he might be in a future video and we were just kind of like the oldest people there or some of the oldest people and i think it was like an all ages concert or you know 16 and up or 18 and up or something i don't know it was just like man we feel old looking around so maybe i was just grumping but i just was not really into it here's some of the grammatic concert All right, the next day, Brandon and I went to a sour beer festival at Avery and Boulder, and then later on in the day, still somehow had the, and we took a nap, but we had the energy to actually go to an official MAGFest um, event, which was in Colorado, so it was in Denver. It was at a place called the Marquee Theater. I had seen uh, Anamanaguchi there in 2013 with Derek, 
And, and that was a really cool venue because they have good pizza and stuff. Actually, Ana Monaguchi being from New York was like, oh man, this is actually the best like authentic pizza we've ever had outside of New York. So that was pretty cool. So at this MAGFest event, there was uh, a couple of video games set up. They said, you know, it sounded like it was gonna be a bigger deal than it was, but they just had like a master system set up with the 3D glasses so you could play the 3D games. No one was really doing that. And I don't really wanna put those on my face after other people have been putting on the face. I'm a bit of a germ freak. And then there was also uh, a new game that was set up on Wii U and I can't think of what it's called. There it is, looked pretty cool. I didn't get a chance to play it, but they also had like Mega Man X set up. And it's cool, but it's also like, I think they probably should have picked other games that would have been, you know, better for two players or something that would be, you know, more like rotation, like you get so far and you die and now someone else plays. Could have been maybe better picks on that, but you know, cool, obviously good games. Never played any of the games, but the whole point was really to see these video game inspired musicians. Some of them I had heard of before. First was Dr. Zlog, Zilog, something like that. Um, his set was really cool. Here's some of that. Next was the main reason I wanted to go there was to see Ethernaut, I believe it's pronounced. Um, I had seen his video before and it was one of my favorite videos. He actually plays a track with like a digitized, you know, like 8-bit looking um, violin. I mean, it's like a violin, but it looks 8-bit and it actually makes kind of like video game sounds and stuff. I was like, that's crazy. I had no idea he was from Colorado, let alone it turns out he's like a friend of a friend of a friend. Like I went there and I happened to run into some friends. I lent my girlfriend's friend, Sean, a Luigi costume so he could go check out Comic-Con Denver. And then later that night, he ended up at the same concert I was at and I had no idea. I was like, oh, guy's wearing, a, that's my Luigi costume when I saw him there. So they were there to see Ethernaut because he's a friend of theirs. It's crazy. He put on an awesome set, peep it. So cool to see and then I was like talking oh man I really want to see stuff and they're like hey we can you know you know we can go talk to him or whatever I was like oh well you know uh, I always feel weird about that so I ended up just going over to buy a CD hey man really like your stuff saw your stuff on YouTube anyway bought the album really awesome check them out links next was Michael Zucker I mean, he did the videos and he did the music. So he made his own music videos, commercials from the 80s and other like hilarious little bits in there. And it was really cool to see some of those covers. And he actually did a really cool thing that I liked was in Mario 2, how when you would pause it, it would make the little glitchy sounds and it was just the bass on do, 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 blip. And it would just like do a little glitchy things. He actually played like the little glitchy parts. I just thought it was cool that someone else had like kind of noted that and made it into the song. So it was cool. Rainbow Dragon Eyes. Yeah. Who also, we had seen this guy back in 2013 when we went to see Anamanaguchi. He opened it up. He does like this crazy 8-bit metal stuff, singing about pirates and everyone put your hooks up. And if you don't got a hook, you're in the wrong concert. And not in those words, because he's pretty foul mouthed, but um, really funny. And it was a really entertaining show. Peep it and links, all this. Next was Danimal Cannon. He's from New York, uh, pretty famous. And he also does video game music with his guitar and you know, super technical, awesome track. Um, he played, he was talking about like, this was inspired by Rush and it's like, man, it's, I can't follow super, you know, technical, cool, cool stuff. Um, you might have probably heard of him, but anyway, peep it. And finally, Mega Ran. Who I had actually, I mean, he was, panel was like right before mine at MAGFest, year before last. 
and uh, he seems like a really cool guy um, rapping about video games and stuff like that, but he's changed his name from Mega Ran to Random, and uh, you know, it's not just video games, but he mostly did video game stuff because that's the crowd, so that was really cool. We stayed for most of that, and then we had to go home because it was like surge price on Uber, so we had to get home. So obviously, he did a bunch of stuff this uh, month that kind of contributed to not getting everything I wanted to done, but then being sick for a week and a half, two weeks doesn't help either, and I, I gotta catch up on a whole bunch of stuff, like even just like mowing my lawn. Got some pickups. While I was at the pinball convention, I got Lunar 2, and I think it was 35, 40 bucks it came with, of course, this massive manual thing, and then just really the discs. No other frills other than this, like 120 page manual or something, and it's in good condition. So it's a semi-complete, you know, Lunar 2 for that price. I didn't think it was too bad, because I guess loose it goes for about that, maybe even a little more. I got Quicks. You would think it's Kicks, but I guess it's Quicks. Based on research I did for the video game years when we talked about Kicks, Quicks before, see what I just did? It's Quicks Neo on PlayStation. I haven't played it, but it looks like a good, maybe it's a good. And this has been a long time coming, but this was recommended to me by Brandon, uh, call her, call her brand. Uh, Heavy Rain said it's a really cool game and this was cheap so I bought it on the cheap because this was like $60 and everyone was talking about it and I waited and it paid off to not have to pay extra money. Would have been playing, been playing some Pokemon still, still playing that game, haven't got, I mean I've got a lot of hours into it but I think I'm about like a third of the way through as far as the number of Pokemon I have, something like that, maybe a bit more. And special shout out to my buddy Blaine who was cool enough to give me, he had, a, he had another pass code, I guess you'd call it, for my number nine which just came out this month so i was super excited because it's like man i love me some mega man creator mega man's making a game sounds really cool and it is a lot like mega man i mean there's so many similarities to mega man but it is a different game um you know as far as like the dashing into guys to like collect their energy and that kind of stuff that took a bit of getting used to but i'm finally getting used to it because i'm finally on the last boss but it was really rough i mean i went through every stage trying to beat a boss you know trying to figure out you know you got just like a mega man game like feel it out which one can i beat with just like the buster technically any of them but then it's like you know who's going to be the easiest at that point and then get the weapon to defeat the other ones it's like the fire and the ice and that kind of stuff you know same same kind of idea and then it took forever and i couldn't beat a single one of them I was like man I suck at this and I did but it was the kind of thing that you know I enjoyed it more as I got less frustrated because I was you know figuring out how the game worked and that kind of stuff definitely had some problems with the dashing into guys because that would cause me to either get hit or killed sometimes but I kind of got a feel for it so now I, I believe I'm on the final boss and I really wanted to finish it before doing this so I could give my complete thoughts on it but I haven't finished it yet so what I've played so far I've really enjoyed I just like that fact that it's like I can still play kind of Mega Man games and I hope that he goes on to do more. Um, I guess, what was that game? The Ash, Red Ash game? I don't know where that's sitting, but I really would love to see basically a spiritual successor or something like that, one off of Mega Man Legends, because I really, really wanted to see Mega Man Legends 3. So hopefully that happens, if not Mega Man Legends 3, which you know. <laughs> yeah, we'll see, probably not. Thank you for your patience, guys. I know that this has been kind of a slow, going thing here as far as these Japan videos go. I just said something I really want to do and I feel like I need to do it now while it's kind of fresh in my head. I just need time to do it and of course being sick doesn't help. So as soon as I'm feeling better, I hope I can get out of this funk that I'm in right now. Let's churn those out and then get on to like more video game content because I know that's what you guys really want to see. So hopefully you're enjoying the Japanese uh, video stuff in the meantime you know music video and upcoming vlog it seems to be positive response so again thank you sorry see you next month Pew!